Country 102.9. Joining me on the phone this morning is Alex Guthrie from The Voice. Alex, you're 25 years old from Georgia. Team Kelly, how's your experience been on The Voice so far? It has been wild. Like, I, I didn't know what to expect getting into it. I expected, you know, kind of an impersonal come sing and then you're off the stage and it's over kind of thing. But it's been a community that I didn't expect to have. Um, relationships I didn't expect to, to foster with the coach. Everything that I had hoped for and a ton more. Um, now, at this point, you've cleared the blinds and the battle rounds. Now, what is one thing that a judge has said to you that sticks out in your mind? Maybe it's good or maybe it was kind of some constructive criticism that you almost got offended by. Oh, it, you know, actually, I can't remember much of the good stuff because that stuff rolls off and I'm like, nice, glad to hear that. Uh, the things that have really stuck with me are I need to move around the stage and, you know, get more comfortable without a guitar because mm. I totally use that as a crutch. And uh, John Legend said to me that I sing nicely, but I don't sing with enough emotion. So those two things have really kind of helped shape my trajectory of what I want to do going forward on the show. Okay, so maybe when fans are watching you in these next couple rounds, look for you to maybe be moving around more and projecting some emotion. Um, now, I talked to Shane Q the other day. He's on Team Kelly. Do you know Shane? I love Shane. Shane and I get along so well. Yeah? Well, we, t we talked about his vocal range and being able to go way up high and sing some incredible notes. When you had your blinds, Kelly said before she turned around, she wanted to hear you go a little bit higher and show your range. Now, personally, I think you've got a really rich sound in the deeper parts of your voice. What are your thoughts on all this? Um, yeah, you know, I usually stick around in my lower end, and, you know, I, I have a higher end, but I don't feel like it's, like you said, I don't feel like it's my, my strongest suit, so I think I took my blind a little bit more safe and kind of, you know, stuck at home. <laughs> mm -hmm. But going forward, you know, it's cool to have the coaching where I'm not just driving blind hoping that I can hit a high note and I've got freaking Kelly Clarkson who's, who's yeah. pointing in the right direction saying like this is how you're going to achieve that so you can have that more dynamic performance so now you know you've gotten some television screen time uh, has there been any point where you've been like recognized at the supermarket or in the park have you taken any photos with fans or are you still waiting to hit that level of fame so to speak <laughs> you know it happens little by little uh -huh. uh, I, I was at the airport we were at the Chick-fil-A line at like 6 a.m. In Atlanta, and somebody sat there and tapped their friend next to them, and just did the awkward leg tap. <laughs> don't look now, but look now. Uh, <laughs> they turned around, and I and I thought, like, did I do something wrong? Yeah. Like, the fear from the voice. <laughs> I went, okay, good. That's what it is. <laughs> That's pretty crazy, right? Because I'm assuming that this is all new to you. It doesn't feel like you should have anybody, you know, like recognizing you in Chick Fil A, because you feel like just you know another guy, right? Yeah, you know, I, I thought that they were mutually exclusive. Like, you're either nationally recognized or you're just a regular guy. And, you know, <laughs> as we're meeting all these other, like, truly famous people, you realize, oh, they're all just regular people who happen to have a national audience. So, like, the gap between the two is definitely turning into more of a gradient, not so much of a hard line. Yeah, that's a really interesting way to look at it. Um, now, getting a little personal here, do you have any weird or peculiar superstitions, maybe a ritual that you have before going on stage or performing, anything like that? I do have a ritual I've been doing with my band, and I've tried to get some of the other uh, contestants to join me on it. Um, with my band, right before we go on stage, we'll all get together in a circle, and somebody has to start off with like a ridiculous action intended to make everybody embarrassed. Okay. Um, and then we have to go around and repeat it, and we'll, so we'll go around a couple times making an action, repeating an action, and it just gets weird and awkward and makes everybody laugh and smile, um, and it helps loosen things up so that you don't really worry about screwing up on stage because you've already gotten it out of the way. Yeah, that, that sounds like a pretty interesting thing, but what, you, you can't get anybody to kind of get on board with you? Nobody on Team Kelly wants to do any ridiculous actions before getting on stage? Oh, no, they're more than willing. <laughs> <laughs> We've, we've got a, a little group started who's interested in this. <laughs> if you could get one sponsorship or endorsement deal after the show, what do you think would fit your brand or what would just be kind of awesome to be endorsed or sponsored by? Wow, that's a super unique question. Man, that's, that's a good one. Uh, you know, right out the gate, I think guitar brands, you know, I'd want to play my Fender Strat mm -hmm. as an actual Fender artist, but... I guess more broadly, it would be it would be cool to to tie in you know some of my hobbies back into it. And, I don't know outdoor gear. I, I do a lot of hiking and camping, and I I turn my tours into like 
ways that I can go play music in places that I also want to explore. Yeah, I, I get that too. I and mean, it would be cool to, you know, after you kind of reach this level where you're recognized in places other than Chick-fil-A, you can kind of be not only the guy from The Voice, but hey, that guy from The Voice who also has a really big uh, passion for the outdoors and, you know, outdoor recreation and things like that. That would be really cool. Alex, if we can get one last thing from you, if you could tell us where we could find out more information about you, your social handles, uh, your website, where can we go if we're really interested in listening to Alex Guthrie in the future? Awesome. Thank you for asking. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Alex Guthrie, Twitter at the Alex Guthrie, and Facebook, unfortunately, is yet another one, Alex Guthrie Official. Well, but if you just search Alex Guthrie on all of them, you should be able to find it, no problem. Yeah, yeah. No, don't, don't get me wrong, Alex. I've Googled you before this interview, and I found all your social media very, very easily. Alex, it's, it's been a pleasure talking to you this morning. I appreciate you taking the time. Look forward uh, to watching you on Team Kelly, and best of luck in the future on The Voice and in your professional career. Thank you so much. really appreciate you having me on the show.